Hello, this is my attempt to capture Cricket World Cup 2015 in Excel. So in the cup view, you can see the progress of the tournament from the initial round all the way to the finals. And then you can see some summary statistics about the World Cup as a tournament. You can also see the top batting performances and the most runs scored, top bowling performances and the most wickets taken. And as you scroll to the right, you will see the points table for the initial round or the preliminary round of the World Cup. All of these are calculations, so they're actually trying to calculate all of um, the statistics and picking the top performers, most run scores and everything from the raw data that I took from ESPNCrickInfo.com. And so all of these are calculations. They're not static images or static typed in information. They're all calculations coming from the raw data. Then in the team view, you can choose a team and see their progress during the tournament. For example, Ireland in the first round, they went through the six matches and then whether they won or lost, what was the margin of victory, when did it happen, and also which ground did it happen. You can see some summary statistics about the number of runs and wickets. And also, each team, you can see the top batting performances and bowling performances. And also, individually, you can see all their batsmen, their scores, their averages, and the strike rate. And these are sorted, so sorted by the most number of runs scored or the most number of wickets taken. So you can e easily identify the top performers within each team and let me choose Australia as they went through the final so you can see all of those matches that they played. The flag also gets updated and the colors are um, matched with the colors of the teams. In the match view you can actually choose one match out of the 49 matches and you can see the details. I'm gonna pick Australia versus England and here you can see the summary of the match, compact summary with the top three performances, bowling, batting in each inning, and you can see the worm chart. And on the right, you have the batsman scorecard for both teams, and then the bowler scorecard for both teams. Again, the flag gets updated. So it's a very simple dashboard where it's you can get information about any specific match or you can look at it from a team perspective and see how they progress through the tournament or you can look at overall statistics for the entire tournament. This is just my first attempt to do something like this and I hope to enhance this over time and so if you have any suggestions or any feedback please leave it in the comments section on my blog post where you can actually download this file for free and also leave me um, an email or a comment in the YouTube video so that I can try to incorporate as much feedback as possible when I update this next time. Thank you very much for watching the video.